Combination, Chris Cobain here bringing you another Pokemon X and Y Y5 battle. Um, now, as you might be able to tell, I'll give you a chance to listen real quick. It is actually, well, it's not actually my birthday. <laughs> my birthday was uh, yesterday, and uh, for whatever reason, I logged back on to Pokemon today, and I guess since you didn't leave the Pokemon Center yet, uh, the music keeps going in case you weren't aware you get like a, a birthday surprise in your uh, Pokemon Center on your birthday. So I figured I'd leave it up. I wanted to do a video yesterday uh, to have the, to showcase the music just because I thought it was cool. But uh, never had a chance because I was busy, obviously. So still going to get it here. Anyway, uh, beyond all that, um, this is a really, really fun battle against one of my mods over at Twitch. This is uh, Meme. Uh, Meme your mom, as a lot of people would know him. Uh, and this was a really awesome battle, so let's get right into it. My team is rocking two Pokemon that I've never shown before on uh, on YouTube. And this was actually uh, the first day I used them on Twitch as well. So it was cool to get a fun battle in where I could showcase them a little bit. Uh, we got Floatzel, Noivern, Empoleon, Furfro, and my two new Pokemon back-to-back -back here are Kling Clang and Trevenant. <clears throat> They're both really fun Pokemon, and uh, they both uh, serve a pretty decent purpose in this battle. Uh, Meme to himself is carrying Volcarona, Dusclop, Shaman, uh, Crawdaunt, Lucario, and Flygon. So his team is very powerful. Uh, a lot of threats on there. A um, couple borderline Pokemon and Crawdaunt and Volcarona. Even Dusclop to then use still super powerful. His whole team poses a ginormous threat. And I know I'm going to have to play well from turn one in order to get this win. So my lead is going to be Floatzel here. More, more than anything else, just because he's the best lead overall, I can hit a lot of his Pokemon for really heavy damage. Um, he leads with Flygon. Now, I do carry Ice Fang, but I am immediately terrified of him being Scarfed. So, I'm going to get out. I'm going to go into Fua the Fur Fro with his Rocky Helmet. And he goes for U-Turn, revealing right off the bat he's Scarfed, because all Floatzels carry Ice Fang. Now, there'll be no reason to keep Flygon in against one, knowing it's going to outspeed, unless you were Scarfed. I found you to a little interesting, uh, if he could have gotten that unpredictable little, if I didn't predict that, he could have killed him in the first place, but I'll take it either way, so. Um, off the U-turn, he's going to go into Lucario, I'm scared of him being special, um, now I bring in base here, I could have brought in Trevenant, uh, in order to soak up either, either, uh, version of fighting attack, but I figured base, uh, is going to keep me at a better position, because it's going to keep him from setting up, I'm going to pose more of an offensive threat than Trev will. Uh, and he, whereas in, uh, all in Trev, he could set up Swords and Angel and Nasty Plots on me, uh, fairly easily. Especially Nasty Plots, since, uh, he would have to worry about Willowist, so. He's gonna bring in Dusclops to take, uh, this Air Slash Air, uh, he's super bulky, that is a spec Air Slash, he does absolutely nothing, which is terrible, so. Uh, I have to get out, and I go into Club Duck here, but... He predicts this really good prediction on his part. He's going to double out back into Flygon. That's very unfortunate because now uh, this guy can fire off, you know, Earthquake or whatever. He wants to fire off at me. So, uh, least risky play. I could bring a Noivern, but the less risky play is going to be uh, the way here. He goes for Superpower, meaning Noivern would have been an okay switch. Uh, but this was much less risky than that. So, um, he's going to go ahead and Superpower is going to do decent damage. Uh, he's gonna lose attack and defense. Now, this was a super obvious switch. No way he's gonna stay in super power again and risk me returning to kill him. Uh, Flygon's still important, so he's gonna he's gonna switch out into Lucario. I knew he'd switch out into Lucario to eat up either return or toxic, and I double switched into Miles. So we're back, uh, ready to waterfall this guy. Um, I do so. It, I'm choice bandit. Lucario has no bonk, and he lived. I was super surprised by that. Uh, so he's going to get off an Aura Sphere, which sucks, uh, but it takes me out of 9 HP, and he's going to go down the Life Orb. So, now, right off the bat, uh, that looks like a crippled Flygon, or Flygon, excuse me, uh, Oracle Dead, but I save him, turns up a huge, you'll see why. Uh, so I'm going to get out of there, because I think I can save him for later. I outspeed his whole team outside of, like, Aqua Gen and Crawdon, so, and obviously this. So, I knew that he could be big later if I kept him alive, so... I'm going to go in, I actually predicted U-turn, so I switch into this to take minimum damage, and uh, Furfro's kind of losing HP, so, but uh, he goes for Dragon Ball, which is fine by me, I guess maybe he predicted me to go to Moneyburn or something that time, uh, he goes into Crawled on to take what amounts to a pretty obvious Skull or Ice Beam, uh, least risky switch resist both, obviously, 
Now, I stayed in here, went for Grass Knot. I did not think he'd outspeed me. I don't know if he just straight out speeds me or if he's like speed invested and I'm not, which I'm not. But, uh, I don't know. Misplay on my part, though, because he's going to kill me with knockoff, which kind of sucks. I'm going to be a lot more helpful if I have them alive. Uh, but I'm going to bring in a drop to base. Now, he saw that I did. It was almost a three hit KO on that. Not quite, but almost on the Dust Club. So I don't think he's looking to risk Dust Club. There's not a whole lot he can switch into to take a, a spec air slash. Obviously, super active damage against Shaman. And both Corona Fly Guns not going to take it very well, so he didn't want to risk the Dust Cops. He'd rather use, use the Corona, which is fair enough. Uh, now he brings back in the Fly Gun. This thing has threatened me the whole game. I actually have thought about staying in to predict U turn. Um, but play, again, play non risky here. I don't want to make a, a terrible misplay and lose um, lose my guy here, uh, Noivern. So I'm going to switch into Fua, and he is going to U turn, unfortunately. That's okay, though. I would have gotten a fair air slash off on something, but oh well. He's going to bring in Ra. Now, he misplayed a little bit here. Uh, he went for Bug Buzz right off the bat and killed me. Now, I think the reason for that is because... That crit didn't matter, by the way. Um, that I have Toxic, and he knows that. I don't think he's carrying Roost. So, I, I don't think he was ready to take a Toxic there. I think, because um, if he would have done so, uh, he, you know, it would have really uh, worked up to kill him. Uh, would have been kind of hard, especially with Norvar resisting his old moveset outside of possible hurricane. Um, so I bring in Flood Tool after that. I go for Waterfall. I did forget Shaman was on the field at that point. Uh, I forgot that he still had that, um, but that's okay. I do very little damage. Now, I was predicting C player here. Uh, I got the right prediction. It was either going to be C player, and I know this thing carries Earth Power as well. So uh, this resists both. Um, so does Trevenant, but again, I'm trying to keep Trevenant. Uh, a good, or as good as possible for a while here. Another kind of a misplay here. Now, he switches into Volcarona. I don't know if this was simply because he didn't want to risk Dust Box. Uh, he couldn't stay in. He couldn't switch in into uh, Flygon. I don't, I'm not 100% sure why. I don't know if, like, maybe he predicted Flamethrower there. Either way, though, he does switch, and I do get the one-hit KO on that um, Volcarona. If I did go for Flamethrower for the more easy damage, the 100% the accuracy there, I would have been in a lot of trouble. So now he's going to bring in um, Flygon. I knew either U-Turn or Dragon Claw was coming, and I was pretty sure Dragon Claw, because I don't think he remembered Kling Clang, and Dragon Claw's going to hit everything else hard. That ends up being a giant misplay, because, uh, well, it's not a misplay, it ends up being a giant prediction on my part, because I can shift here on the Switch. Uh, now, I honestly thought it was over at this point. I thought, um, 4 or 4 yeah, 4 here, I'm going to get him. Now, I have to use Flygon now. <clears throat> I carry Substitute, so if he brings in Dust Clubs, I'll sub, uh, take the Will-O-Wisp, uh, shift gear again, just cause. Um, so I go for the gear grind to get what I think is the kill here. Unfortunately, Shaman's super bulky. He lives at like 1 HP, which really super sucked. I was very upset, cause I was almost positive that that was Sweet Mode there, but Shaman really bulky, obviously, and like I said earlier, he is carrying the Earth Power. And that is going to take me out, which is unfortunate. I really could have, uh, I really, really felt like I was on tweet mode there, but what are you going to do, right? Uh, so I bring back in Miles again here. I, he's at like 1 HP, so Waterfall is going to take him out. Uh, it's going to keep him from switching. I knew that that was the best way to keep, uh, to get him in skill mode. Um, so now it's 2 one, 3 here. He's going to bring in Flygon. I knew that Dragon, you're not going to U-turn here. There's no real point. I knew Dragon Claw was coming. Um, I did not want to risk it, so what I do instead uh, is I switch and drop the base. I'm going to let him go now. I've kept Miles alive this whole game. He uh, he did kill Shaman for me right there, and this is where where I me living that Aura Sphere became so big uh, as long as it would be keeping me alive. I carry Aqua Jet. He knows that. I know that. He know I know he's going to think I'm going to go for it to try to get the kill. So instead of risking Flygon, he switches into Dust Clops to take it easily. <laughs> to take an Aqua Jet super easily. I predicted that. That was the entire reason I brought in Floatzel there. That one prediction. I needed it to get to, to make myself uh, to give myself a chance here. I get the prediction. I carry Choice Bandit Crunch. I'm going to two-hit Dust Clop. That is enormous. So Floatzel, he, he loses that. Lucario goes down thanks to the Life Orb. He's able to stay alive. I keep him alive the whole game and he makes, off my prediction, he gets the, the kill that Puts, gets me in the biggest winning position I've been in the whole game. Uh, so I'm just going to let Floatzel die there. Dude with a monster. Absolutely critical that I got rid of that Dust Pops. 
And now it's one on one versus uh, the one I haven't brought out yet, which is Trevenant. He's going to go for Dragon Claw. Now, I am a special defensive set. Uh, I go for Will O Wisp. It does not kill, uh, which typically could have been really bad. But as you'll see here, um, I am a Rest Lumberry set as opposed to a Citrus Berry set. Um, reason being, uh, they're both obviously super effective, uh, very, very good ways to walk. This allows him to remove status incredibly easy, along with heal, if you can work it right. So, uh, there I know Dragon Ball is going to take me down low. I'm going to live it. So now I get a second chance at Willow. If I miss it this time, basically, it's, it's GG. Uh, Trevenant was kind of annoying all day with Willow. If he missed like 10 Willow Wisps that day, and along with like 5 Leap Seeds, it was really annoying. But I do get the second Willow Wisp, fortunately. Uh, there's not much he can do anymore. He's obviously he's still locked in the Dragon Claw there. I'm going to Horn Leech. It's going to take him down to about death. And with the burn coming through, uh, that is going to be the end of it. I, I probably could have uh, Horn Leech twice when I came in and killed him. Uh, you know, relying on the recovery to allow me to live another one. But um, I figured this was the less risky option. And it does end up working out. And I do end up getting that 1-0. So this game was absolutely awesome. Uh, we both made some really good plays. I thought my prediction in this game were absolutely key. Uh, this team, like I said in the beginning, it was super powerful. I knew I was going to have to be on top of my game in order to take it out. And I feel like I was uh, for most of the game. Outside of like uh, letting in Poland die to crawl on, uh, I think my, my entire game I was, I was on point in order to give myself a chance. Um, anyway, uh, really, really awesome game. Uh, Meme and I have battled many times. He, we've never had a battle good enough to put on YouTube. It always ends up he crushed me or I crushed him most of the time. So, had to get this one up. Awesome battle. Uh, that is the end of it, you guys. If you enjoyed that battle, make sure you hit that like button at the bottom of the screen. It really helps me out a lot. Make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube as well if you have not done so yet. I get out videos once every few days at the very minimum. Unless something comes up on my birthday yesterday. So, th I think this is four days. Uh, in between, but my birthday kind of interfered with that, obviously, so uh, I really would appreciate that. If you do subscribe, it's going to let you know when all my videos are coming out as soon as they do, and uh, if you guys haven't had the chance to check out my live stream, uh, make sure you do so over at twitch.tv slash xchriscobain. It's a really fun time. I talk to the viewers live. I battle viewers live as well, so if you want to battle me or talk to me, that's the best chance to do so, outside of, you know, like, talking to me on the comments, which I try to respond, but uh, anyway, that is it for me, you guys, so I will see you guys in the next video.